Hey, how's it guys? Alright, so in this Power BI tutorial, I'll show you two methods to highlight top three values. So method number one is going to be using the ranks x function, and it's going to be the simple method. And for method two, I'll be using an analytical function called window function, which is going to be a little bit more advanced, but offers more flexibility to enhance your visualization. Now with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so before we dive into the tutorial, you can download this exercise file to follow along. Now if we go into the uh, data view, right, so right here we have this uh, table called data. In this data table, we have uh, five counts. So this table contains the uh, population for each state. M stands for male population, F stands for female population, and uh, percentage for both male and female in each state. Alright, so let's go to the report view. Now right here I already created the uh, bar chart for uh, the 50 states. Now to explain the logic, I'm going to insert a table here. And I'm going to insert the state count. And let's use a uh, male population count to uh, highlight the top three states. All right, so here I'm going to uh, sort the count by male population. And increase the zoom. Alright, so if we look at the table here, for the top three states, it's going to be California, Texas, and Florida. All right, so here let me create a measure. So basically, I want to uh, use the rank x function to insert the ranking based on the uh, population count. All right, so let's name this as state ranking B1. Then I'm going to insert the rank x function. And let me hide this. All right, so here I'm going to insert the rank x function. Now the first parameter is going to be the uh, table reference. And I want to rank the uh, count based on all the records. So I'm going to insert the O function and followed by the current reference. Now as for the expression, I want to rank based on the total sum from each state. So here I'm going to insert the calculate function. Then I'm going to sum by the uh, male population count. And this should be two closing parentheses. Now for the value, we're going to leave that as blank. Depending on your use case, if you want to highlight the uh, top three values, you want to sort in descending order. But if you want to highlight the uh, bottom three values, in that case, you want to use ascending. But since I want to highlight the top three values, I'm going to choose descending and enter to create the measure. Now, once we create the measure, we can simply drag this uh, measure to the uh, table visual. So I was returning one for every single row. Let me take a look. Okay, so I see my mistake. So this should be data. But we can uh, reference the state column not the M count. All right, so let's give it a try again. Now this time, if we go back to the visual, and we can see that we now have the uh, ranking populated based on the uh, male population for each state. And to highlight the top three bars, I'm going to create another measure. All right, so let me uh, expand the, the, the panel. I'm going to name the measure top three population by state. And it's going to be version one. Now this measure is going to be used to apply to our condition formatting. And here we can insert the if function. And we can simply reference the state ranking v1 measure. And we can say if the ranking is less or equals to three, then we're going to insert the, uh, the color code or the color name. Let's say I want to highlight the top three bars in teal. And close in parentheses, enter. Now I'm going to click on my uh, bar chart. And let me enable the format pane. All right, so if we go to the uh, bars category, 
and I'm going to click on condition formatting. Now from the format style, I want to change that to field value. And for the field, I want to choose the top three population by state V1 measure as the field. Then click OK to apply the, uh, the conditional formatting. For method number two, I'm going to show you how we can use the window function and which is one of the events function in Power BI to color the top three bars. Now let me pull over the documentation for the window function. All right, so if we look at the description, it returns multiple rows, which are positioned within the given interval. What that means is, we can use the window function to return records as a table giving the interval range. And if we look at the parameters, the first parameter found is going to be the starting index position. Then we have the uh, form type, and usually you will choose absolute. And we have two different types, absolute and relative. But 98% uh, of the time, you would choose absolute. Then we have the uh, destination, which is going to be this uh, two parameter and uh, two type. And relation is going to be the uh, table that you want to uh, generate using the window function, and which I'll show you in a second. Then we have the order by, which is going to control the uh, sorting order. All right, so uh, that's basically all the parameters that you need to know to hide the uh, top end values. Now let's look at an example on how we can apply the window function. All right, so here I'm going to create another measure. Actually, uh, let's do, this should be a new table, not a measure. I'm going to go into the modeling tab, then click on new table. I'm going to name uh, the output window function output. Now here I'm going to create three variables, and it's going to be fun. I want to return the first record all the way to the third record. And this is going to be the table that I want to return. So I'm name uh, the variable table. Now using the add counts function, I'm going to return all the states. And I'll name the count as population. Now for the expression, it's going to be the uh, sum total by each state. Right, so those are going to be the three variables that I'm going to create. Now for the output, I want to return. Here I'm going to insert the window function. Then I'm going to insert the row range that I want to return. So it's going to be from the first row. And it's going to be absolute type, all the way to the third row. And as you can see that using the window function, we can easily control uh, the range, uh, what order we want to highlight the, uh, the bars. So for example, let's say if I want to highlight the uh, sixth position all the way to the 10th position, then I can simply change the uh, range from six to 10. And let's do that for now. And it's going to be absolute type as well. Then I'm going to insert the table that I want to return. Then I want to sort the count by male population. And this will be ordered by. And I'll grab uh, this function right here. And just come and paste. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to create another variable. And I'll name this as M population. And it's going to be the uh, calculate function. Then we place uh, these two items with the uh, M population variable. Then I'm going to press enter to create the table. Now, if we go into data view and here, right, so it's giving me all the population in the same value. And I think I know why. So when we are using the window function to incorporate any uh, calculation, we should need to perform the calculation from the data source table. All right, so here I'm going to create another measure from the uh, source data table. 
and I'll name the measure as M population. Now in this case, I can simply just insert the sum function and I'll provide the M count. Now going back to the window function table, and I'll delete this line here, and I'll replace uh, these two variables with the uh, in population measure. Now, if I go back to the data view, we now have the population ranking for the six to tens position. Now, I'm going to copy this formula here because this is just a demonstration on how to use the window function to create a table. Now, to uh, use the window function as a conditional formatting rule, we need to create a measure. And I'll name this as top three population by state v2. Now here I'm going to paste the uh, formula. Now here I want to insert a function. So basically, I want to count the rows. And the table is going to be the window function output. And because we have a logical test, so here I'm going to wrap the window function with the filter function. All right, so basically, I'm going to say that if the state count or the row in the state count is found, found the window function output. In this case, we know uh, this is going to return a table with the uh, six records. So I can insert uh, max data state. And right here, I have an extra closing parenthesis. All right, so here I can say if the rows based on the uh, filter result is greater or equals to one, then I want to change the bar color to orange. And that's it. So this is going to be the measure rule that we can use to create the uh, conditional formatting rule. I'm going to press enter to create the uh, measure. Now again, we can uh, illustrate the output using the uh, table visual. All right, so here we can simply create the first table from the window function output table. And right here are the six states that we're going to uh, match to our Raudia table. And basically uh, using the formula from uh, this measure here, if any state is located or found in the uh, route data table, then the count rows function is going to return one. And if the logical test is uh, met, then we can return the uh, Color code. All right, so let's give it a try. So I'm going to create another table just to illustrate how everything looks. Now, if I drag the second measure, and it's going to be our conditional formatting rule. All right, so it's not returning anything. Okay, so I noticed my mistake, and this should be the um, view from the table reference, not from the uh, data table view. All right, so if I replace that with the uh, population view from the accounts function, and enter. All right, so uh, it's now returning the color code. All right, so uh, that's okay. I think uh, the measure will still work. So here I'm going to click on the uh, bar visual. Then I'll go to format, conditional formatting. And again, I'm going to choose field value. And this time I'm going to choose top three population by state V2. And okay. 
All right, so if we look at the bar chart, we now have these six bars highlighted in different colors. But for now, uh, this is going to be episode I'm going to share in this video. And again, don't forget that you can download this file from the link in the description below.